vlogmas day one. Cheers to that. I cannot believe how quick it's come around. I cannot believe that we're here on vlogmas day one and it is decorate with us. Yes, we are decorating. It is currently actually the 24th of November and I have decided to start vlogmas early couple of reasons reason number one a lot of vlogmas people that i've watched in the past have always said to start vlogmas a little bit early so as you're going along because you're literally with vlogmas recording editing and launching the video in one day it's always good to be a couple of days ahead and because we are literally going to new york on the 1st of december so the 1st of december next friday we are going to be driving down in fact the day that you're watching this video we are going to be driving down to heathrow to stop over and fly to new york the day after <sighs> I don't know if you can tell, but I'm quite excited. We are decorating the house today. I have all my little decorations here. Uh, the tree behind us, we've actually gone with a fake tree this year. We did a real tree last year, um, which I really loved. It took up a hell of a lot of space. You know, when you fall into the trap of thinking that it looks smaller than, than it does, and then you get back home and you're like, wow, this is not small at all. Um, but the tree was amazing last year. And we had the theme of like golds and greens last year. Sorry, Barney's rappling with his new toy. And I've kept to exactly the same theme this year. We've gone very minimalistic. Um, I'm gonna go through some of the things that I've been buying because they're all just trees, basically. I've kind of gone with what the vibes of this year are across the board of social media and watching people on Instagram uh, decorate their houses too. So I was gonna give you a little bit of a haul of what I've been buying over the last couple of weeks before we get and dive into doing the tree. Okay, so welcome to Rebecca Hayden's haul of Christmas things that she's been buying. First things first, Asda has been top notch this year. I got this very cute little wooden nutcracker. He is very cute. We've got quite a few nutcrackers this year and a Shrewsbury one, which I'm sure I'll be showing you. I got these two very cute Christmas trees. Anyway, really liked those. Now, from Matalan, I've actually just picked these up. I ordered them ages ago, but they've only just come in. So Matalan, I got cute little, um, cute little tree. I wish I could put a candle in that because how cute would that look? Um, I did get some battery candles, but I don't think it would sit on it. I don't think I'd be able to get in it, but it looks cute anyway. Another little ceramic tree. Again, we're beige. We're going beige because it is Becky. She, everything's beige. And I got this cute little house from Matalan as well. And then I think these were from, oh yeah, these were from, they actually say Wilkinson's on here, which we know Wilkinson's has gone bust, but these were from the range. And me and mom had a bit of a conversation. I don't know whether Wilkinson's had a lot of Christmas things that, that they've sold to the range, but these are actually from Wilkinson's slash we found them in the range. So I'm gonna do a cute little housey something or other because I've got three big houses. Then I've got three little cute houses, which I love these. How cute are they? Little church. I really like those. And these are from Sostrine Green. I think I'm saying it right. Sostrine Green. There's not many shops. I got most of it online. Um, and I did go to Chester this week and I picked up some more things. So another little tree that lights up, which I love. Little battery operated tree. That was from Sostrine Green. Um, these cute little, these cute little uh, ornaments. I've got so many ornaments. I don't know where I'm gonna put them, but this one and him, which I think is really cute. I think this little guy was from Matalan as well. And there is a smaller version. Mom got the big and the small version and now I'm jealous. So I might have to get the small version because those don't, they don't match. <laughs> These are just from like random garden centers. So this was from Dobby's, which is right near us. We've got quite a few garden centers around by us. That was from Dobby's as well. Little Christmas tree. 
so many Christmas trees this year. These, I love him. He's gonna go uh, when you first walk in the door. He's already been up for the, like the last two weeks, by the way. <laughs> um, and these, which I've put as a, like, a little three, they're like really cute uh, Christmas trees again. And then they were from webs as well. I've got a couple of candles, uh, acorn and a Christmas tree. I think that was last year's. It's from Primark and I haven't been to Primark this year. Um, and I did get some trees because when I create the little village, the little village scene, I wanted to have, to, I wanted them to have some trees. The village scene. The village scene is is henceforth because of this <laughs> so jack has basically been talking about having a train around the tree for months and um he was away last week and i actually found one that i really liked that would fit the size of the tree that we've got but um i got him a, tr a train track with a train and it's got like the coal on the back and it like has two little things that it drags along and what i think it might turn end up turning into in years to come and from this year is like a full-blown village underneath the tree um, and then lastly before i bore you all with my five minute video um i got some smelly pine cones and what we decided to do so when we were ordering the fake tree there was a tree that we really liked that had pine cones on it and the six foot one was all sold out because we do this thing where we look at something that we want to buy and then we don't buy it straight away and then it's always sold out we do this thing all the time anyone else um so we went to buy the tree that we wanted and then it was obviously sold out so we went with another tree which, which was as nice, but I thought we could then tie these onto the tree. And I'm gonna get some eucalyptus this year and put eucalyptus in the tree as well. It's either eucalyptus or pampas, I'm not sure which yet. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do that. So we brought some cable tie wire to wire the pine cones onto the tree. And because they smell nice as well, gonna have a nice smelling tree aren't we mr barnes so yes let's get decorated just before we begin the piece de la resistance is our shrewsbury nutcracker <laughs> how cool is he i mean absolutely horrendous colors but we love shrewsbury and we've walked past this shop there's like this little christmas shop that's a christmas shop all year round in shrewsbury and they had this nutcracker out um like in one of the baskets a couple of months ago and i said to jack like we have to get that we have to have it and it's like a big family joke um on jack's side of the family where they we are obsessed with shrewsbury we know that but like they they uh, joke with us all the time with how obsessed we actually are so we've gone to the next level guys we have really pushed the boat out and our nutcracker is supporting shrewsbury to shrewsbury when everything is white glimmering silver white and stillness fills the night it's christmas Winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand. Take me away, Christmas Day. There's joy in the air, families near. We give thanks for this past year. Oh, nothing compares. To the love that we share Oh, what a bliss A green red delight With glimmering silver white So the tree that we were going to buy, like I said, had pine cones in them already and we really liked it, but we couldn't get it because it was sold out. So we bought our own, own pine cones. They're like the potpourri Christmas spice smelly pine cones. And then we've got 
wire. So we're wrapping the wire around the pine cones and then popping them on the tree. And they look so cute. How cute do they look? I'm very happy with it. I'm so glad we stuck to the green. Um, and not only am I happy with the tree, I'm more happy with the over the fireplace um, garland that I created. And um, I'll show you, but I put some pussy willow in it. Um, and you can see here. So I just ran those through with some pine cones. The beautiful little house and then just like wove in the candles. Ah, I'm so happy, so happy. <laughs> it is time for picky bits. That is what we're having for dinner tonight. We went to M&S, they've got four for three on all of the Christmas picky bits and we thought, why the hell not? because we have decorated and got into the full Christmassy mood. And I think we're gonna do that and then pop on a Christmas film, which I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Well, um, you tell me. Let's go for a voting system. Now, what are they? <laughs> for the 1600th time. So 2023, we've already watched it. It's probably 23 times. But we did decide that we're going to save Elf for the plane yeah. to New York. So we can't watch Elf. Um, I don't know what other Christmas songs we've got left, really. <laughs> not even funny. Not even funny. Um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna not cook dinner. We're just gonna put some picky bits on and um, sit down and watch a nice film. Maybe. Christmas! 